Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to dive into a crucial aspect of Spring Boot development that is how we can use environment variable to securely manage your API keys. If not only the API keys but there are certain properties keys which are basically secure that how we are going to keeping those keys securely using the environment variable. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out this guide will help you to keep your application configuration secure. So let's get started. So if we talked about the first thing that what is environment variable. So first let's talk about that what environment variable are and why they are important. This environment variable actually allow you to store this configuration setting outside your code base. Like this is our, our code base but we are keeping those environment variable outside of this code base. Means it's very actually useful for sensitive information like storing the API keys and some other information. By doing this, you can change your configurations without modifying your code, which will basically enhance the securities and the flexibilities. Like suppose we are maintaining these keys in an environment variable. So here in this project, we don't need to modify anything. Only we just need to modify in the environment variable. So which will basically automatically impact the necessary changes for the project. So actually basically we need to create some uh, environment variables. So like if you are using the Windows or maybe Mac. So there are certain options that we need to follow for setting up the keys. One option is to like if you are using the command prompt. So over there you need to like use these keys to set your like API keys over here. Even if you are using the Mac, then you can export API keys equals to some values, which will basically, you can also, to make these changes permanent, you can export those lines into the cell configurations files such as BaseRC or JetageRC. Those files also you can keep. So now like here also another option over here, like over here you can go to the run configurations. Then here, if you see, we need to add our applications browse then spring nb here we can change the name of this applications spring boot nb variable okay so here we can keep the name here actually if you see this environment tab so here also we can keep the name let's say api key and something value maybe let's say test value okay Next, we need to save this one so that we can see over here. Next, we need to apply this. Okay. After that, we need to defining this API key in the properties file. How we are going to defining this properties keys over here? Like API dot key equals to dollar symbol within parenthesis. We need to defining the key. Whatever the key we have defining. So if we notice again, go to this. Uh, configurations so over here in this project if you see the api key and the value will be test underscore value okay so we have defining that values in the properties file in next what we are going to do we are going to create one controller over there we are going to create one method which will be the maybe gate mapping so let's say create one class it will be we have as a controller so for that we need to annotate this class with rest controller right else it will be not behave as a not expose as api then request mapping we need to give this annotations over here and the path will be slash api slash nothing we need to give over here okay and next we need to like create one first of all how we are going to get that value from the properties file so here is a actually string provide one value annotation this one okay this org spring framework dot bean factory dot annotations and here we need to 
for getting we need to give this one like dollar symbol then this bracket and here we need to provide the key like api dot key next here we need to provide the name of the variable like each string api key next we can create one gate mapping method public return table with a string get value okay here return value okay okay return this api key okay so in this way basically we can access this one now if we start this applications so that we can get the value from the environment variable so let it start it will take some time not much but it will take some time for the first time it's showing that cannot resolve placeholder api underscore key value api underscore key okay let's see if we miss something over here or not so actually if you see that actually we have set the details for this one right because here the main class is missing so that's why what is when we start this application then it's actually keeping this main file over here so we need to set the environment variable for this one like api key then value will be test underscore value okay apply and then run then it will basically keep actually until or unless the value actually picked by the environment variable then it will causing the issue it's actually not able to read the property now if we see the application got started tomcat started on 884 now we can check this one from just hitting this controller so how we are going to get this one just to in the browser we can see we need to just here if you see this one we are getting the value right so in this way basically we can get the values and you can access this one for about the project creation so we can directly go to the spring boot initializer over there you can like choose the dependencies project as maven then choose the dependencies this one then choose the artifact name as a dependencies you need to add this one like dev tools string web lombok for the time being that lombok is not needed because we are not using any kind of the getter and setter but as we are create the rest applications so that's why string web is needed so after generate the one you can import it into your favorite ide that also you can do so another approach to get like this uh, get the value from the properties file so here you need to auto wire the private environment this one this interface you need to use as env and then you need to get property like env dot get property and here basically we need to give the key name like api dot key right so it will also give us the same response now if we start if it's already application restarted and here if we see that value got it's returning from the api right so this is the thing even also we can uh, maintain this property uh, like uh, based on the environment so how we are going to maintaining this one like uh, maybe we can't uh, maintain all those things in a properties file like dev hyphen api hyphen key if it is a production key then for that we can maintain this prod underscore api underscore key so those properties also we can mention maintain actually based on the environment wise also right we can also defining those things in a uh, yml file also now for maintaining this one what should we follow actually the best practices to ensure the securities of the api keys we need to follow few practices one is the like we don't need to hard code the api keys in the properties file because it will be visible to the everyone so just to avoid this we, need, we should keep those variable under the environment variable we can also restrict the access to the environment variable to only to the some kind of the necessary user like maybe only admin or maybe someone else can only having the access those APIs keys. 
you can also rotate the keys regularly so it will minimize the risks actually so this is the things we need to follow okay so this actually how you can like secure your api skin in spring boot application using environment variable i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please give a thumbs up leave a comment with any questions and don't forget to subscribe for more coding tutorials thanks for watching i will see you in in the next videos bye bye